guys, how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do its old videos like this, I'll do unboxings, I'll do hauls, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So this week I am back with my somewhat normal What's Sold Sunday videos. I will actually be going over today all the sales I've had in November thus far. So everything from November 1st to yesterday, which was November 11th. Um, I will say November has been slower than October, but fingers crossed with the holidays and everything coming up, sales do start to pick up. I do need to get more inventory. I haven't been listing quite as much as I had um, in October, especially because I spent most of September in Connecticut. So when I came home, I had a bunch of stuff that I had sourced while I was in Connecticut to list. I just need to, you know, get to the bins and, you know, just start listing stuff again. Anyway, I'm just going to be going over my sales. Um, again, kind of slow, um, some not so great sales, but a couple of really good new to me brands that I'm excited to share with you guys. But anyway, let's start off with November 1st, which was a Wednesday. I had six sales. I sold this pair of Birkenstocks. They're definitely <laughs> not your normal Birkenstock. I had never even seen this style before. Um, they're the Selena Flat, I believe is what they're called. And they were pink perfect for ballet core, which is very trendy. I was hoping these would sell a little bit better and faster, um, but I don't think they were as sought after as I thought that they were gonna be. However, they did still sell for 50 and after fees I made 40 and I probably spent maybe $15 on those because I did get those out of Savers and you know, they usually price up stuff like Birkenstocks. Uh, then I had an eBay sale. I sold these trousers. You guys might remember I went to the bins maybe like a month ago and I shared that haul and probably not a whole month ago, a few weeks ago. <laughs> anyway, I found um, this brand for the first time, Anine Bing, I believe it's pronounced. I've heard really great things about this brand. I did not think I'd find it at the bins, but I did. Um, comps for this specific pair of pants was kind of like mixed they weren't made of anything special like wool um like i thought they might be because they are pretty expensive to begin with so when someone sent me an offer of 70 on ebay i did decide to accept and after fees i made 54.87 then i sold this princess polly crop top this i also got the bins every time i see princess polly at the bins or for like less than a dollar i will usually pick it up to resell I won't say it's done like the best for me, but it's a very sought after fast fashion brand and they make really cute pieces. This top sold pretty quickly, it sold for 18 and after fees I made 12.38. And I sold these Torrid shorts in this peach color. Again, Torrid is a brand I often pick up, usually just at the bins. If it was a very special piece and I saw it at a thrift store um, and it wasn't marked too high and maybe it had like some nice materials, um, I would maybe pay up for it, but mostly I just get it at the bins. I've had these shorts for a long time. They finally sold for 15 and after fees I made 12. Then I sold this other piece, which I also got at the bins. It was unbranded, but it was like a rabbit hair blend beret. Again, I think I got this when I got those Anine Bing pants. Um, and it did sell pretty quickly, especially for being unbranded. I didn't list it for too high. It sold on eBay for 17 and after fees I made 15 and 51. And then the last thing I sold on November 1st was this pair of clogs. And this was actually really exciting. This is the brand Swedish Has Been, and I had never found this brand before. I didn't know of it. It's been on my Bolo list. And I did find them at a pretty local Goodwill. Again, I didn't really know what comps were. These weren't marked up too high for the store. They were like $12.99. Um, I couldn't find this exact style that had sold and I didn't know if I was going to be sitting on them because they're more of a summery kind of shoe, but they actually sold the same day. I listed them for 99, but when someone offered me 75 within the first like couple of hours, I decided to accept because it was going to be a really quick flip. I bought them that day. I sold them. They sold for $75 on Poshmark and after fees, I made 60. So a really quick, pretty much like $50 profit off of those shoes in one day. I was very happy and hopefully I find that again in the future. Great brand. 
Then on November 2nd, I only had one sale. I sold this Cider, which is the brand Corset Velvet Jumpsuit. I think I also got this that same day as all that other bin stuff that I showed you guys. But Cider really isn't a brand that I would pay up for, but I see it decently, like a decent amount of it <laughs> at the bins. It is fast fashion. It is pretty cheap, similar to Shein, but this was in a good size. And I thought it was a really cute piece, especially for the holidays coming up. Ended up selling for 20 and after fees I made 13.02. Then on the third, I had three sales. I sold this new with tags in a Murata. I don't know how you pronounce that brand. Tank top dress. I got this in some of my bulk boxes and I just thought maybe it was like an Amazon brand. I looked it up. I still don't really know too much about the brand, but this specific piece was modeled by Emily something, <laughs> who's a pretty famous supermodel. So I thought, you know, I'd use the photo with her wearing it, even though it's a very kind of odd photo. Um, but I think that did help. And who knows, maybe it is a sought after brand, but it got a decent amount of attention. It ended up selling for 32 and after fees I made 22.62. Then this was the first time I picked up this brand. It's the brand Packed and this was their essential long sleeve dress. I feel like I've passed on this brand a lot, just assuming it was like a Target brand or something low end. But I, as I've said before, watched a lot of Kaylee Elaine's videos and she loves selling this brand. So when I saw it at a thrift store, I decided to pick it up and try it out. So I spent about $10 on it, but it actually sold pretty well. It sold for 40 and after fees I made $29.98. And after that, I did see it at the bins but I didn't end up picking it up because it was like too worn. It was like a, pair, a random pair of leggings, but it's definitely something I'd keep an eye out for because if I see it at the bins, it's definitely something I want to pick up. And the last thing that sold that day were this pair of North Face winter leggings. Winter leggings, like a thick legging, something that, you know, keeps heat in, is very sought after pretty much in any brand. I think I mentioned last week about, um, Toasty Tech Lululemon leggings, those are very sought after. And especially, you know, as it is colder, those are things that people are looking for. Uh, I got these at the bins, ended up selling for 26 on Mercari and after fees, I made 22. Then Saturday the 4th, I had four sales. I sold this pair of Mother Straight Leg Jeans and this was very exciting. If you guys saw my last What's Sold Sunday video, I had mentioned that I went to the bins and I found that Jenny Kane sweater that sold for like $100. And then that other cashmere poncho that sold for $110. I found these jeans that same trip. And I love finding Mother, especially at the bins, but like in general, it's just a really great denim brand. Um, this pair ended up selling for $70 pretty quickly. And after fees, I made 56. So that was just, you know, an amazing binge trip overall. And I didn't end up filming it to show you guys because so many pieces sold so quickly that I knew they were just gonna show up in like my What Sold Sunday video. So I'm like, there's really nothing to show. Um, but that was very exciting. And yeah, I need to get back to the bins because I also found this piece recently at the bins. Uh, it was a Patagonia fleece jacket. Now these aren't super sought after, but if I see Patagonia at the bins, I will pick it up. This did need a lot of like depilling, so I was it wasn't like I don't know if it'd be super worth it for anyone to pick up, but I love Patagonia. They make really high quality pieces. This ended up selling for 30 and after fees I made 24. Then I sold this Talbot's cardigan. It was in a size 3X. I actually got this at the bins in Connecticut when I was there in September. I think some of you guys had mentioned that I should check out the bins. I think we went to the one in Hamden, Connecticut, if you guys are from the area. It was pretty interesting. Um, I might go again at some point. I did take my mom. My mom really wanted to go. She was super excited. I don't think she loved it, which I don't blame her. There's a lot of Salvation Armies near us that have like a 99 cent color. So that's like even cheaper than the bins a lot of the time. Anyway, um, I got this piece and a few others, not too many. We weren't there for, well, we were there for a long time. They literally, we got there, we're maybe there for 15 minutes. They cleared every single bin out of the entire warehouse. So we had to wait for them to take all the bins out and then very slowly put each one back. And you could not look through any of them until they were, the whole room was full again. 
it was so weird. And if my bins operated like that, I just couldn't do it. It takes so long. It took like 45 minutes. We were there for 15, waited 45 minutes <laughs> doing nothing. And then, you know, they all came out and I found some good things, but <laughs> that was just, that was too long. That was too long to wait. Let me know if your bins are like that. I'm so happy mine aren't. They do them like in shorter, smaller, like things. They'll take three bins out at a time and then replace them immediately. So, you know, you can look through old bins if you want. But long story short, I found this cardigan, sold on eBay for 34 and after fees I made 27.33. And I mostly got it because it was good for the, you know, fall and winter, but also it was in a great size. And then the last thing I sold that day was this H&M cropped sweater vest. Really cute, really simple. I think this came in my bulk boxes I got, either that or it's something I picked up at the bins. I really don't do well with H&M. But, you know, sweater vests are still pretty trendy and this one was really cute. Sold for 12 and after fees I made 9.81 on Mercari. Then on Sunday the 5th, I had three sales. I sold this pair of Madewell wide leg pink jeans. I've had these for a while. I did pay up for them. It was kind of silly. I pretty much refrained from buying any Madewell jeans. They'd have to be really extra special for me to pick them up and not just like straight leg, wide leg. Like they'd have to like have the comps to show it because I've been sitting on every style of Madewell I have, not just the skinny ones. Um, and I was hoping these would sell better with the whole Barbie core and the fact that um, America Ferrera in that movie pretty much is wearing jeans that look just like these. But I sat on them for a while and they ended up only selling for 20 and after fees I made 16 so I really did not profit that much. Then I sold these Hollister black wash shorts. These also came in the bulk boxes I received pretty recently. Well, maybe not that recently, a few months ago. Uh, they sold for 10 and after fees I made 705. And then I sold another pair of shorts. Surprisingly, my shorts are selling now for some reason. Um, on Mercari, there were these Y2K Massimo shorts that also came from those bulk boxes. They sold for 12 and after fees I made 981. All right, now moving on to just this last week, the sales I had on Monday, the 6th, I had two sales. I sold this Hope and Henry houndstooth dress. This might have also came from that bins trip where I got all that other stuff. Um, I like to pick up kids clothing that I think is like more high quality. I don't always comp it because it is so light and you know, none of it's really for the most part gonna get you that much unless it's like a, an actually really good brand. Um, but I liked this dress. I thought it was good for the fall and the winter. Ends up this brand's like sold at Macy's, so probably not a brand I would pick up again, but it sold for 16 on Poshmark and after fees made 1078. Then I sold this Bit Kai Rand wool sweater. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that brand. I think it's originally very expensive like brand. And that's why I picked it up at the bins, but then comps actually weren't that great, and I don't know how popular that brand actually is. But it still ended up selling for 32, which was great, and after fees made 23.58. Then Tuesday the 7th, I had four sales. I sold this tank top by the brand Ruby Ribbon. Comps looked really good on this. Again, something I picked up at the bins, pretty light. I think it's kind of not like shapewear, but maybe similar to that. Ended up selling for 20, and then after fees I made 16. Then I picked up these new Tag Amber Crombie and Fitch pink trousers. Amber Crombie and Fitch, I feel like I saw that weird. Um, yeah. They were new with tags, that was great. I found them at a Goodwill recently, so I paid maybe like $10 for them. Really cute, great color. Their trousers are very, very trendy. Amber Crombie and Fitch in general, it's just really trendy right now. Sold, I think probably in a couple of days, sold for 52 and after fees I made 41.60. Then I sold this new with tag Unique Glow Teddy Jacket. This also came in the bulk boxes I received. I didn't end up listing it for too much just because I mostly just wanted it to sell. Uniqlo's kind of hit or miss, but because it was new with tags and a jacket, I did list it. It sold for 18 and after fees I made 12.38. And the last thing I sold on that day was this Urban Outfitters wrap sweater. Really cute. Again, got it at the bins. I pick up a lot of Urban Outfitters at the bins. Usually does pretty well for me, like bread and butter pretty much. Sold for 20 and after fees I made 16. Then Wednesday the 8th, I had five sales. I had some better sales this day. I sold this Veronica Beard wool sweater. Really cute. Again, you guys might remember these came from the bulk boxes I received in like May. 
So the first set of them, I was really excited to see this brand in there and it was in really great condition. So cannot complain. Did take a while to sell, but it ended up selling for 60 and after fees I made 48. Then I had a bundle sale, which I rarely have, but I am more than happy when I can have multiple things move at once. It had two Lulu's dresses in it. One was this black skater dress that I got a while ago at the bins. One was this red mini dress that again, I got at the bins. A pair of Vionic knit slippers, which I got at the bins and shoes at the bins cost $3.05. And then this new Tag Free People bralette that I got for myself like two years ago and never wore. Well, all in all, I put in about like $5 into that, five, $6. The bundle ended up uh, going for 80 and then after fees I made 64 and I was really happy that that had two Lulu's dresses in there because I have been sitting on my Lulu's dresses when like a year ago I was like selling them like crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, glad to see that. And then I had a really interesting sale of this new to me brand that I'd never heard of before. The brand itself is called Orslow, O-R-S-L-O-W. It's a Japanese brand and I found it in a pair of jeans. I don't know if they make anything else, but if you find their jeans, they have a lot of value and like a pretty good following, I would say. This got a lot of attention on pretty much all the platforms I listed them on. I think I could have got more in a faster sale if they weren't white jeans, but that's what I found. So that's what I was selling. They, I spent about $10 on them because they were actually in the women's section of um, the thrift store. And I don't, you know, think the men were looking in that section. Anyway, I spent about $10 on them. They sold for 85, probably within like a month. Um, so not like a super slow sale or anything. And then after fees, I made 68 and that was on Poshmark. Then I had another men's sale. I sold this pair of Frank and Oak men's trousers. These, if you remember, also came from my bulk boxes. You're not supposed to have men's things in those boxes, but you know, it happens, men's kids, random things get mixed into those. And this was in that, um, but I think Frank and Oak is actually a pretty decent brand and they're a great color, especially for the fall and the winter. They sold for 30 and after fees I made 24. And then the last sale I had that day was this vintage hand knit Celtic sweater. If you find like hand knit Irish sweaters, they have a lot of value, particularly probably in the color cream and in the material wool. I found this sweater at a nearby Savers for like $5. So I decided to give it a try. It was cotton and it was in the color black, but it was still really cute and a great size and like, you know, oversized and cheap, <laughs> especially for the prices around here. It was pretty cheap. So I decided to give it a try. It ended up selling on Depop for $59.50 and after fees I made $50.51. And a great keyword for sweaters like cable knit sweaters, especially like the cream wool ones I was talking about is the keyword fisherman sweater. Um, that's like what people are looking for this time of year. Then Thursday the 9th I had five sales. This is another new to me brand. This is actually the second time I found it. Um, I found it once at the bins and I think it was in that haul. It's the brand Mercy, M-E-R-S-E-A. And I had never heard of this brand before I saw it at the bins, but then I actually found this piece very recently at a local thrift store. And I was really excited to try it out again because the one I found at the bins was like terry cloth, very summery. This one was very soft and um, more appropriate for the fall and winter. I don't know if they only make one size clothing, but this is one size and that other piece I found was one size. This was like their travel sweater. And I do think if I waited, I could have got more for it, but because it was such a quick flip, um, I did decide to accept an offer of $55 and after piece I made 44. Then I sold this new tag Zara green long sleeve. I lowered the price on a lot of old inventory and kind of like by brand, I went and lowered a lot of the prices in my Poshmark closet. So a lot of my Nike stuff, Zara, etc. because I pick up so much of it at the bins. Um, I think that probably helped this sell, but I think I got this in one of my bulk boxes. Ended up selling for 21 and after fees I made 14.78. Then I sold this Hannah Anderson Mickey pajama set. It was a kid's size 13 or 14, I wanna say. 
Um, I've been finding a lot of Hannah Anderson pajamas, but especially for like the winter and the holidays, pajamas usually sell really well. And these were Disney um, and also like holiday themed. Again, probably something if I waited a little longer would have sold for more because we're not even like in December yet. But I got these again really recently at a Goodwill, which they overcharged me for. <laughs> still pretty mad at them um, but for the whole set it was about ten dollars and someone offered me 28 and I just decided to accept again because it was a really quick sale I ended up making 22.40 after fees so you know pretty much just doubled my money the next thing I sold was this new tag Lauren Ralph Lauren lightweight jacket this was in a great size it was in a 3x it was new tags and I got it at um, again a local Goodwill so Again, probably spent like $10 on it. Uh, it had the original MSRP of like 200 and something and the label was black. So I was like, oh, this must be like higher quality. I don't think so because it wasn't like black Ralph Lauren. It was black Lauren Ralph Lauren. Um, but anyway, it did get a lot of attention. It was a good size and it ended up selling for $60 on Poshmark and after fees I made 48. And then the last thing I sold on Thursday was this wool mohair sweater by the brand Elaine, A-L-A-I-N. I picked up a few of these pieces at the bins earlier this year. They were all men's pieces. They were all from Italy. They had varying like good materials in them. I thought it was probably a pretty good brand, but I really couldn't figure out. There's so many Elaine brands that I didn't know which one it was because it just said Elaine and not a last name. I, again, I picked up three pieces. I sold a blazer, pretty much probably just based on style. And then this I probably sold based on materials. And then I have like one other cardigan left still. Um, but a really, really nice sweater, great colors. I thought it was really cute. Ended up selling for 28 and after fees I made 22.40. All right, and then Friday the 10th, I had seven sales. I sold this Retro Vans quarter zip sweatshirt. I've had this for a while. I think I got this really early this year. And I've just been better about like lowering the price on some of my older inventory. Ended up selling for 14 and after fees I made 903. Then I sold these J. Crew jeans. They were a bootleg crop jean and I got these recently at the bins. Um, I just get so happy when I find jeans and brands that I want to pick up. Um, I usually every pair of jeans there is usually like from Target or Walmart or something that's not great. So I get very excited when they are high quality jeans. Um, this was a great style, and I think these were from either this year or last year, so newer. I think sometimes J. Crew jeans can go for a lot, but comps on these weren't like as fantastic as I thought they were. Someone ended up offering me 30, and I did decide to accept, and after fees I made 24. Then I sold another Urban Outfitters piece, these cargo shorts. Again, these came from the bins in Connecticut. I had them listed for probably like 15 or 16. But when someone offered me eight, I just decided to accept because, you know, we're going into colder weather and I'd like to just have some of my shorts move. Uh, so it sold for eight and after fees, I made $5.05. Then I sold this vintage laundry Shelly Seagal dress. It was a maxi velvet dress. I have had this dress for probably two or three years. This came in a bulk box from ThreadUp. I received two of these dresses. One of them sold super quick. This one, again, I've been sitting on for a long time um, and just never redonated, I guess. But sometimes uh, laundry by Shelley Seagal pieces, especially their vintage pieces, can do really well. This one finally ended up selling on Depop. Someone offered me 40 and I accepted. And after fees, I made 33.89. Then I had another quick sale, this new tag L.L. Bean Cashmere Blend Cardigan. I do think L.L. Bean is something I straight away from for a while I don't know why <laughs> but it's actually been doing really well for me especially on eBay and as somebody who grew up in New England where L.L. Bean is like headquartered and really well known um, and I wore a ton of as a kid uh, a college kid <laughs> I should have just known that it had a lot more value and when I saw this at uh, Goodwill. I spent about $10 on it. It was new with tags and it was a cashmere blend and it was perfect for the holiday. So I thought that would be a really quick sale. And it was, it ended up selling for $39 on eBay and after fees, I made $35.28. Then I sold this vintage long sleeve lace blouse. This was also a very recent flip. I got this 
that same day I got the last L.L. Bean piece. It was this really pretty lace, Victorian, romantic shirt, very trendy. And then when I looked at the label, it was vintage, but it was also a great size. It was a 24W, so a plus size. And I just knew I had to get it. I knew it was gonna sell fast. You rarely find these very trendy vintage pieces in bigger sizes. Um, and that's definitely something that people are looking for. This top, again, I probably spent $10 on it, ended up selling pretty quickly on Depop for 50 and after fees, I made 42 52 All right, and then yesterday, the 11th, the last day I'll be sharing with you guys this video, um, I had seven sales. I sold this Vineyard Vines pair of boys corduroys. Again, just got them at the bins, I believe here. I don't know. I, I do think I've had them maybe for like a year, but... Um, Corduroy is pretty trendy for the fall. Vineyard Vines is a good brand. End up selling for 15 and after fees I made 12. Then I sold this bundle of this Lululemon long sleeve and this Anzi camel bra. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that brand. It's a sports brand that I pick up at the bins from time to time and it's done decently well for me. I think it has like an okay following. Um, but their stuff never sells that quickly or for that much. So I don't know if I'll keep picking it up. And Lululemon's just kind of, you know, gone downhill a little bit. And since this was just like a basic long sleeve, when someone offered me $30 for those two pieces, I did decide to accept. I got them both at the bins. And after fees, I made $24. Next, I sold this American Eagle denim mini skirt. I think I've also had this for a while, but denim skirts in general usually become more trendy in the fall. I think now midi and maxi skirts are a lot trendier in denim, but I still have, you know, quite a few from earlier this year, last year when I picked them up. So I am glad that this sold, sold for 16 and after fees I made 1078 and I probably got that at the bins. Then I had another pretty good sale that I got at the bins recently. It was this vintage sweater by the brand Michael Simon, which I didn't pick it up based on brand. I picked it up based on style. It was super cool is black and white striped swirl very eye-catching very trendy very graphic and I was hoping to get a little bit more for it but I did pick it up at the bins and you know I was selling it based on si style <laughs> I think I had it listed for maybe like 50 or 60 so when someone offered me 40 on Poshmark I thought that that was fair and after fees I made 32. Then I had another very interesting sale this brand I had never heard of before it's new to me and I got this the same day I got that L.L. Bean piece and that vintage lace top and the Swedish has-beens even. Um, it's the brand First Right, R-I-T-E. And it was kind of unassuming, um, the label itself, but I looked at the interior label and I think it said it was made in Portugal or something. And I say this all the time, but when it says it's made in a country um, or designed in a country that's more obscure, like Portugal or Australia or something like that, then I usually look up the brand. And there weren't many comps, but what I could find, it seemed like a pretty sought after brand. And not only did I find one of these cardigans, I found two. This one had a couple of stains on it and I just took pictures of the stains and listed it as is, made sure to note it. Um, and I did get a lot of attention on Poshmark and eBay, um, but I decided to accept an offer on Poshmark for 82. And after fees, I made $65.60. And again, I spent about $10 on that, which was fantastic. Then I sold this Burton pink snow jacket. I love finding Burton snowboarding, you know, winter jackets um, at the bins. I think I've only really found them at the bins. I think it's like the fourth one I've sold. Not all their jackets are made equal. Some of their older jackets don't have as much value. But if they're in good condition or like really high quality, those are what are going to get you those higher amounts. This one, I loved the color. It was a fantastic size, a woman's extra large. It was a bit older, but it was in great condition and it was like a more high quality jacket. Again, lots of attention on like Poshmark and eBay. Sold on Poshmark for 72 and after fees I made 55 58 And again, that was at the bins. And then the last thing I sold yesterday was this Mango White Popover. Mango is a brand that I think is very similar to Zara and I got a ton of it in these bulk boxes, the ones that I received recently, pretty much in both sets of them. 
Um, so it wasn't a brand I really sold much before, but I got to try it out and it's been doing pretty well. This piece sold for 24 and after fees, I made $19.20. So yeah, those were all my sales from this week. I forgot to kind of add up how much I made. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but yeah, pretty decent week. Um, you know, those bigger sales definitely helped me out. Fingers crossed that things start to pick up, especially as we get closer to Thanksgiving. I am going to be gone like that whole week at my in-laws and in Disneyland. <laughs> but yeah, fingers crossed things pick up so that when I am gone for that week, um, I don't feel the hurt of missing a week's worth of sales. But anyway, let me know how your Novembers are going so far. Let me know how your October was and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.